Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0 Day 51. So I have a second wildcard challenge for you today, and we're going to go back about a week and a half where we were talking about campaigns, and I'm going to show you a new aspect that we have in campaigns. And you can actually see it in the updates from this week, the ability to promote multiple listings in one ad from within campaigns. So let's dive into how we would do that. We're going to come over to the campaigns megaphone or this sub menu applet and we're going to choose campaigns and we're going to go to create a new campaign and we're selecting a paid social ad. So paid social ad this top left hand corner. And we're going to just put in test for our campaign name and this is the actually the first time that I have seen this happen where one of these goal based buttons does actually impact what happens next. Historically, these buttons have just been used primarily for KWRI tracking purposes. However, you can see, well, first off, if I click advertise multiple listings, I no longer have the ability to do it on Twitter because Twitter doesn't have that carousel type function. Uh, so that's the first thing you should notice about how what changes when you choose advertise multiple listings. A couple of more things are going to change within the editor once we dive there. So let's click on Facebook and then go to set up our campaign. From there, you can see the first thing that it asks us to do is to add listings. So I'm going to click on add listings and I have the ability to choose up to five listings. So in my case, I might say, hey, I want to see all of my listings that I have taken recently. And so here's actually five of them. So I could go through and start selecting all of them. And then I would come back down and say, all right, I want to confirm my selections. Okay, and that's gonna show all five selected listings that I've done. Now, if I wanna remove one, I would just click on the X. If I wanna change one, I would click on change the listing. Okay, next I have the ability to go into add text. So I'm gonna click on configure. And then it's gonna say, okay, what's the main copy that you want to have? Now here's the interesting part. Once we do the main copy, right? So I start typing in, this is the main copy. Right, then I can save that text and start configuring the carousel media. So here's the deal. This copy up here is going to stay the same. However, this copy down here will change. Okay, so it'll change as the pictures rotate through or the carousel rotates through. So that's the interesting thing. Number one, we come back to add text, right? You can say, and I might say something along the lines of, um, when you need a professional that knows the Katy and Cypress areas well, you want to know Summit Coffee Group Houston at Keller. We'll make sure that all fits platinum. All right. So there's just a tagline. When you need a professional that knows the Katy and Cypress area as well, you want to know the Summer Property Group Houston at Keller Williams. So I'd save that. Then I can come through the carousel. And you'll see here's listing one number one. It's going to say select the media for this campaign. And it's pulling in all of the listing photos from the first listing that I selected. Now you could choose just one of these photos. However, I think that's kind of boring. So I might suggest that you actually take each one of these in designs, so one listing from each, or excuse me, one photo from each one of your listings, take it into designs and actually maybe put a sold, you know, diagonally across it. Maybe even put something like sold in five days. And then the second listing, maybe I sold that one in 22 days and then 17 days, whatever it may be, right? You want to establish a pattern. Maybe it says sold for over, you know, sold for 100% of list, sold for 101, whatever your trend or theme or message that you're attempting to uh, portray is put that on the actual image and save it onto your hard drive and then i could go to add images and then actually find that image on my drive instead of just using kind of the boring photos from the listing you could actually do something up in designs and that way it is consistent with regards to your branding your font your colors etc right but uh, for this sake let's just say that i'm going to go with the listing photos so i would say preview and crop We've got to do square based for carousel. So just make sure that you crop it accordingly. And now I can do the headline and the headline is going to be right. Um, so I could do something like this Cypress home, you know, was, you know, I don't know, 
whatever you would put, right? This Cypress home sold for 102% of list price, okay? Now on the photo, it might say sold across the top and then you put this Cypress home sold for 102% of list price, okay? So when I do that, I can then also say, all right, description wise, um, to find out more about Summit Property Group and how we can help you sell your home, please visit us, whatever, us at our website below. Okay, and then I would say, um, learn more and then i could just come in here and just do marty right just my website kw.com okay and so i'm going to copy this description and i'm going to go to the next photo because that's listing number one here's listing number two right so the headline i can go in and change and say this right i don't remember which one this is this katie area home sold in less than one week Okay, so I'd have to select the media. Again, if I had already created images in designs, I could bring them in here, or I could just select the picture of the front of the home, right? Whichever one I wanted to do, preview and crop, make sure it looks good. And then I would just put in, paste in that same description that I had from earlier. My destination. Now I could go in and create separate landing pages for each one of these. If they weren't sold, but they were all active, maybe I'm advertising all of my active listings. Then I could go in and create landing pages for each one and have a separate destination URL for each one of those. Okay. So I would then go through this process, listing three, take a photo, do the headline, put in the description, listing four, listing five, and so on. Okay, so then from there, you're gonna see that the DBA logo is automatically gonna be applied to every one of those photos. So you can see listing one, right? Once I get all the way through and I click on save add media, I've gotta go through and do each one of these. Okay, so we'll just do them real quick. Let's just save that. And that looks great, save it. And this was townhomes, whatever. We don't have to put the full thing in there. Okay, and Okay, then I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna do the same thing in four, select the media. Let's do this one and that's perfect. And let's just put headline Cinco Ranch and do that. This is not the headline that I would use. It's just so that we can get to the next step. Okay, and then I'm gonna do number five finally, right? So you're just going through each one and we're gonna preview and crop. And we're gonna save. And this was also Cinco Branch. Drop in the description. Okay, and now I can put in that final destination URL. And now you can start to see, right? Let me save that ad media. Let me configure the Facebook ad, select my actual page. Now we're starting to see what this ad is going to look like, right? So I can say, all right, here is the actual destination I want them to go to, right? So I'm just going to go back to there we go. I could do my ad targeting. You've seen this video before. You know that we can use custom settings or do the standard ones. And then I could come through and do my actual duration and budget as well. Okay, so here's the cool thing, right? I'm actually going to run one ad now that will carousel through these photos, will feature five separate listings with congruent, or right? Or um, copy that stays the same for the main copy However, down here, each one on the carousel media of these headlines will be different, and each one of these will have a description that's a little bit different. So it's a really great way if you're attempting to generate more listings, showcasing all the listings that you have sold recently. If you're looking for buyers, maybe you're advertising all of your listings that you have active. Um, and maybe if you don't have more than one or you don't have any listings, maybe you reach out to members of 
um, ALC or you know people that you know are doing a lot of business in your market center get their written permission and ask them is it okay if I market some of your listings to help bring a buyer to help your seller out whatever right just always make sure you have it in writing and utilize specific addresses and then you could create this sort of ad looking for buyers now here's the one caveat is that we do not have the ability to do the Facebook lead form with carousel ads so this will be for exposure only so you do want to make sure that wherever you're sending them to right wherever this follow-up destination there is an ability for them to register there but that's pretty much it guys that's the way that you can now run one ad right one budget 30 50 40 dollars 25 dollars whatever you're spending but actually get up to five separate listings featured marketed showcased etc and again you know one last time i'll remind you this is an okay photo but it's a little boring if i actually took this photo into designs wrote sold across the top of it maybe even put my team logo at the top something along those lines it's going to make it pop a lot more so i definitely recommend that uh, but that's it for today's challenge guys hope you all had a fantastic day and i had a great time uh, working with and learning from the agents of kw uh, premier today congratulations to all the agents at kw platinum on their award ceremony this morning and looking forward to heading out to kw signature kd uh, tomorrow morning to work with those agents so a busy day hope everyone's looking forward to a great weekend and as always i'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow thanks so much